John is the definition of giving. Well, one of my earliest memories of John was when he and Lynn invited me to stay at their home. He and his wife, Lynn, and their two kids really invited me into their home. At his home, when I used to fellowship with Lynn and go over with my daughter, just he, once you learn about Jesus, he was living, it, you could see it instead of just read and be taught about it. So I had graduated from Bible college, gone to the mission field for a little while and came back and they invited me to stay in their home and provided everything for me. <laughs> he is so giving in so many areas with the gospel, just genuinely caring about people's souls and sharing the gospel with everyone, but then also with his time and with his finances. In fact, our first car was given to us by John. My sisters will never let me live it down that he let me borrow a car for my honeymoon and then when I came back he said, oh, you just go ahead and keep it. Just so, so giving. I remember a time when I was moving and there was a debacle and the movers didn't show up and John and his family came out quite late at night and just started helping me. And I remember thinking, wow, who does that? And they have lots of kids and surely they should be in bed by now. And it just really struck my heart, just the kindness and the giving to really kind of a stranger. I needed to go uh, to, to pick up a, a freezer on Craigslist and he said, oh, I'll drive you, I'll help you load it. And so uh, next thing I know, we pulled into Lowe's. So we walk into Lowe's and he says, here's your freezer, I wanna get you this. If there was somebody that really needed something, they knew who to call. They knew that they could call John Burt. Literally just any time, day and night, you need him, he's there for you. He just seems to kind of appear when someone needs him most. Sometimes he'll do things for people before they realize that they need that. He did a lot of things for my family. He came through in times of need. I just remember thinking so many times, you can't outgive this family. And he, he has learned also that you cannot outgive God, and God continues to give back to him uh, and continues to entrust uh, so much to him. Of course, John and I, uh, we go way back. I actually knew John uh, in elementary school. They both knew each other when they were younger went to high school together, knew each other before they were saved, and then they both come to know the Lord. And uh, we began a ministry together. We started in his house. John and I uh, really, for the most part, did everything together. Just the unique relationship they had, starting a church together and being able to stay together uh, through their whole ministry is really uh, just uh, an amazing testimony. John Burt in that early time in the ministry was a perfect helping assistant pastor. And I felt like he and Pastor Hearth were really a good team. Each was a good complement one to the other. And John and I went soul winning. Could have been, it was every week for sure, if not every day. It's part of his passion. He loves to get out and share the gospel. He loves to tell his testimony of how he got saved and he loves to point people to his Savior. A big part of our soul winning was in the fall up on campus. Our church actually filled up with students and John is the one that arranged for all those students. We didn't have a bus, but he got all those students to there. Mm -hmm. And he had donuts and had everything provided for these students. One uh, Sunday morning, I counted 19 medical students at that particular time. And a lot of people came to know the Lord as their Savior. First time I came to Ann Arbor Baptist Church, he and Lynn came and picked me up in, I think it was a yellow Skylark. We had his number on the track, so if anybody needed a ride to church, they would call John. John was running out many different times picking up people. I remember that, that first because after they picked you up, they came to the hill, Alice Lloyd, and that same car, he picked me up. Yep. Uh, that was our first Sunday at the church. Yep. One significant person that he picked up uh, was uh, Suresh Joshua and had a huge part in his life in that early ministry, uh, to which uh, Suresh has been thankful, obviously, to this day. The very same day, I went to eat with uh, John Burt and his family. 
um, and I will never forget that. John really focused in a complimentary way on the people aspect of the ministry. John just opened up. I mean, Wednesday night after church, we were cooking hamburgers, we were having fellowship, we were just, we really bonded as a family at that time. He has handed out, I don't know how many bottles of maple syrup uh, to visitors that come to our church. And we did a pancake breakfast uh, several years and all of the, the syrup for that pancake breakfast came from John Burt. He's welcoming, there's no other way to put it. Just seems like John's always kind of there to greet and chit chat and make the person feel welcome. He made such an impression on, on visitors, on church members. At the time I met the Burt's, or a little bit further back in my life, my parents were divorced when I was young. Um, I lived with my mom through a string of interesting marriages. Being a Christian, but I wasn't going to church at the time, uh, John and Lynn really adopted me. John's testimony and the testimony of his family is really what drew me to the church and ultimately drew me into Christ and his salvation. It really helped to uh, draw my heart more and more toward the church, uh, just so I could see the family atmosphere. The thing that struck me most was just seeing the love of Christ from John. I mean, he, he really did demonstrate Jesus, and it made such a difference in my life. Uh, love in 1 Corinthians 13, there's no focus on how love feels. It's the focus is on what love does. He has set the example of loving and giving and serving everyone he comes in contact with, no matter what. Some friends of ours came. The main person they kept referring to was John Burke and his generosity and how welcome he made them feel. When you go to church, that's who you see. <laughs> John Burt, Lynn Burt, or some of the children, all of them, a lot of times, just there doing things that need to be done. I appreciate Brother Burt, uh, his, his, his love for having fun in the ministry as well. Just his serving was always joyful. Like literally, you always hear him whistling at church, at home, in the car. And he loves fellowship, he loves food. He loves to go out and, and get a bite. Uh, as long as there's Dr. Pepper, then he will, he'll, he'll stop there. We moved out to 2150 South Wagner, where the church is right now. John had a huge part in that, especially as far as building the church. So we actually hired out different contractors, but John was kind of an overseer to all the building, as well as doing a lot of the building himself. John's dedication in building not only the original church building, but also the addition was very key. He's always there to help, no matter what it is, from building to the grounds. 40 acres of land that God's given us have been well looked after. Uh, so many times I get people coming to the church and uh, just uh, with so many good things to say about the buildings and, and uh, the property and the grounds and so forth. Well, Brother John, just want to say on behalf of the church at large, thank you. Thank you for 40 plus years of faithfulness, energy, and zeal, and an undying love for Christ and for the people that God has put in your life and in your ministry. Uh, we don't even know all that you have done for us and for this community. Working behind the scenes and influencing many like he did with me, influenced my life in, a, in such a deep and impressionable way that I'm forever thankful. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love for souls. Thank you for your sense of humor and for your generosity. He's just a great example to follow and I'm just very thankful. You have been a great example to myself, my family, our entire church as to what a servant of God should be. You know, he's been an example to everyone in the church, just of total dedication, total service to others, really giving of himself and his whole family to the work of the ministry, just completely all in. And really, as we talk about John Burt, it's really that he and his wife and his whole family have exuded that whole concept of, of being a servant. It's that testimony of just faithfulness as you walk through those things, through the ups, through the downs, what's the next step? And just keep serving, just keep loving. Like that's the example of what we're all supposed to be. 
and uh, we just had a, a real great ministry together and I'm so thankful for him. We are truly uh, eternally grateful. We love you, brother. God bless you.